Hi, everybody. All right, good morning. It's February 19th, 2020. We are continuing uh, to work on getting the G3X system, a rudimentary version of it, into plane and working. Uh, in the last video, I was cutting out the little hole in the center console for the autopilot controller, which you can't currently see because my dumbass opened up the hangar door and basically backlit the whole thing. So, only when my fat ass gets in the way of most of the light uh, does it refocus on the actual panel. Uh, but trust me, the autopilot controller is there, and it works. So, yeah. Uh, now that all of that is hooked up, of course, you can see outside the weather is nasty. Uh, we had, I don't know, it hasn't been raining a lot in San Francisco this winter. It's really been a lot drier than normal. I don't like that. We need some rain. Uh, but because of that, I couldn't wheel the wings outside to fudge around with the magnetometer. So, anyway, what we are working on is... Um, oh, okay, so that is the autopilot servo wiring kit from Vance. Uh, when you, so when you buy the wing kit, the there's a bracket that you put in, in the right wing, of course, for the roll servo. We've talked about that. And you've seen me working on the tail when we were attaching the tail that there's a, a place in the back where the elevator push rod is, and that is where the pitch servo right attaches. So it, although they attach there, the, the kit doesn't come with all the pieces that you need to make the autopilot servos fit and everything. So Van sells a separate kit uh, for that. Now, now, okay, so the reason to do that is because, you know, maybe you don't want to use Dynan. Maybe you want to use Garmin. Maybe you want to use GRT. Maybe you want to use. Uh, maybe you want to make your own autopilot servos. Who knows? Uh, so yeah, it's you. I, it, I, I, one critic. That's one criticism of Vans is it, it wouldn't kill you to put all all the additional kits, and I mean all the additional kits that you might need to order with one of your main kits. You know, on the order form. Just saying. I mean, they put some, right? Like, oh, would you like this or this? Like, oh, that's nice. Okay, so a, a good example would be the, um, like the canopies, right? So when I was ordering the finishing kit, I'd heard that there was a UVA, or I mean a UV protected, slightly tinted version of the canopy, right? I, I didn't, you wouldn't know that by looking at the order form. Right, I had to I had to request it specifically only because I'd heard about it. Just that's it. Right? That's the only thing. You know, you've got a product. People want to buy it. They can't buy it if they don't know you know that that you have it. Okay, okay, okay. Many many ran over. So what we're really working on today is adding a grounding block of tabs to the plane. Uh, this is going to be really dark. So there's some enhanced video. It's not really well enhanced, but it's better than nothing. Uh, because before you couldn't see anything. Uh, so our approach for this is the avionic. All the avionics need like a nice grounding point. So we're adding what is called what the nickname is a forest of tabs uh, to the sub panel of the plane. Uh, here is a picture of the product itself. You can see it is nothing but a brass or conductive block with a whole bunch of tiny little male tabs. Uh, and you, actually, you know what? Now that I'm looking at it, hey, uh, bring that back up. Okay. Uh, this uh, grounding block. So, right, it's a conductive bar with a bunch of mail tabs, but you can see that it is mounted onto a piece of composite, right? The idea is that this grounding block, uh, while all the grounds go to it, it is technically isolated, right? Because it doesn't touch metal to metal. So, you have an option of being able to um, put a metal bolt through the center hole. Right, which will ground it to whatever metal's behind it, or you can just mount it as I'm doing on the edges, uh, keep it isolated, and then I'm going to use one of the tabs as a ground reference back to the main grounding block at the firewall. So, uh, in the next video, we're going to go ahead and finish this up. Uh, I apologize for the horrific video. I got to stop pointing this damn camera into the sun. Uh, so, thanks for joining me. See you soon.